What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over AT&T stock. Um, so today in the stock market and recently it's been getting absolutely demolished uh, after recent news of what AT&T plans on doing with their company Warner Media. So Warner Media is an American multinational mass media and entertainment corporation owned by AT&T and they're going to be sending it off to Discovery. Uh, they're basically sending it off to Discovery, and they're going to let them handle uh, that company themselves. Uh, AT&T is focusing, uh, narrowing, down, narrowing down their focus uh, just on being a telecommunications company, uh, focusing on competing with other companies such as Verizon, and they're going to be... Their main focus right now is getting up those 5G satellites for faster uh, communications. Uh, so AT&T down almost 6% in the stock market today. And we're going to be going over if it's a good buy or not. Um, AT&T is one of the most popular dividend stocks. It has a high dividend yield of around 6 to 7%. And because of that, it is a great choice for many dividend investors looking for that dividend income. Uh, so we can, as we can see here, currently it's at around 6.45% dividend yield, uh, sitting at a price point of just under $30. Uh, and I think that after this deal is done, after things settle, uh, AT&T still is a great buy uh, for the telecommunications sector. Um, obviously, due to this, we're going to be having dividends cut uh, as they're getting rid of one of their branches. So the future dividend is going to be estimated at around 4.5%, which is not bad for a dividend stock. 4.5% is going to be still a pretty healthy, a pretty attractive dividend for many investors. And because of this um, dividend cut, at t got kind of killed in the stock market today. And as many of you know, AT&T is a stock that doesn't really like to move a lot. Uh, it has a healthy, pretty stable price point. And as we can see in the past year, it hasn't really moved. Uh, there's some slight fluctuations in the price, but overall it stays relatively flat. Uh, and many investors buy the stock mainly for the dividend, not the capital appreciation itself. Um, so it's getting cut to around 4.5%. Um, and prior to this dividend cut, AT&T was one of the highest dividend yielding stocks in the S&P 500. Uh, and now it's going to be reduced to 4.5%, which is similar to other stocks such as Verizon. So we will see what happens to AT&T stock. Um, the, the high dividend was one of the most attractive features for AT&T. Uh, that being reduced, there is going to be increased competition from these other sectors, these other companies. Uh, so yeah, they're focusing more on 5G, um, but they do have a lot of debt they need to pay off. Um, so that is one of the reasons why they sold off their Warner Media company uh, just to get some cash. They want to narrow down their focus. They can't have such a broad focus. Uh, that did not really work out well for them. Um, and overall, I think that if you are looking for a dividend stock, this dip could be a pretty good one to buy into. Uh, my position right here, I'm selling two cash secure puts at the $29 strike. So if AT&T stays below, sorry, if at and stays above $29, uh, we're just going to collect our, uh, our premium of around... Uh, $30. Um, so it's not that much premium that I'm collecting, uh, putting up front $5,800 of collateral. But I think that if AT&T dips to $29, I would be more than happy to own some shares of this company for my long-term uh, portfolio. I think that a 4.5% quarterly paying dividend stock is still a pretty attractive one. Uh, to add to your portfolio um, and if you agree or disagree please leave a comment down below um, if you like the video please leave a like and if you are new here please consider subscribing it really helps out the channel a lot thanks for watching